our fourth story out front, the Samsung Galaxy and Iran's nukes. Now, everybody wants this smartphone. I mean, everybody. In fact, Samsung sells more smartphones than Apple. So what does this smartphone have to do with Iran's nuclear program? Plenty. This is supposed to be a breakthrough weekend. The toughest sanctions in history are set to take effect against Iran. Europe will stop buying Iranian oil. And the goal is to cripple Iran's oil-based economy and force the government to end its nuclear program. Now, oil accounts for about 80 percent of the Iranian government's export revenues, and losing that money is hurting. Officially right now, inflation in Iran is 22 percent. But a source tells out front it may be more than 50 percent. The $39 monthly government subsidy that has been doled out to help Iranians buy food has been scaled back due to a shortage of cash. So sanctions are working. There is no question about that. But perhaps not by nearly as much as they could. Because the problem is, is that sanctions don't add up. First, the United States gave an exemption to China, allowing it to buy Iranian oil. Yes, China is allowed to buy Iranian oil and still access the American financial system. And yes, China is the single biggest buyer of Iranian oil, even though they've cut imports under U.S. pressure. In fact, this is amazing. The United States has exempted all three of the top three buyers of Iranian oil from these sanctions, China, Japan, and India. The State Department made this decision. The second issue, that's where Samsung enters. When I was in Iran about 18 months ago, the Korean electronics giant had a store in a mall I visited. That's it right there. I mean, it was a beautiful brand new store, just like you'd see in a fancy mall in New York or Chicago, Boston. We confirmed that store that you're looking at there was a legitimate Samsung store. And in fact, all the televisions I saw in hotel rooms, in homes, in stores in Iran were Samsung. Samsung operates openly in Iran. It confirmed to out front that it has stores there now, and it sells the Galaxy, the Galaxy 3, the new one that's only just available in the U.S., along with printers, cameras, and televisions. Now, this isn't Samsung's fault. It is totally legal and above board, and I want to emphasize that, because the issue is with the United States government. While the U.S. was putting the harshest sanctions in history on Iran, it signed a free trade deal with Samsung's home country, South Korea. That it was the biggest single free trade deal for this country since NAFTA. Korea got preferential access to U.S. markets. In exchange, the U.S. did not demand Korean companies choose between doing business in the U.S. or Iran. And so Samsung, Hyundai, Kia keep selling in Iran. Get ready for this. Iranian imports from South Korea surged 49 percent in the first three months of this year, according to Reuters which also notes that 2,000 South Korean companies do business in Iran. That is unbelievable. In a time of sanctions and hardship, Iran's buying 49 percent more from South Korea than it did a year ago. You'd think that if the U.S. wanted to get the world on board with sanctions, it would use its powerful financial leverage. We'll sign a free, date, free trade deal with you, Korea, if you cut your ties to Iran. Now, the decision to not do that was made by Congress.